Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Nick and welcome back to the Naked Dog Express where I like to express my opinions on a variety of different topics. Coming to you guys with another video, this time not a reaction, since I just finished doing the Master of Puppets full album, all eight songs, I thought wouldn't be better while it's decently fresh in my mind to do a, uh, a ranking of all the songs um, from my personal just least favorite to most favorite, because at the end of the day this album really doesn't have a bad song in my opinion it's just i really have to you know look at it as objectively as i can and get my thoughts and you guys have saw my videos or if not you can go check those out or come to this video after or just stay in the video of whatever you want to do but i just really thought i'd do this since i'm coming off of that album and you guys seem to really like the videos i do with metallica so it's you know might as well keep trying to pump out different types of videos so done rambling but if you guys are new here please click that like button subscribe join in on the conversation because as i like to say this is a place to express yourself just like i am and yeah let's get into this master of puppets um ranking list so this is not going to be too edited at least not in the beginning since this is the first one i'm doing i'm going to test out the waters a bit see how you guys kind of feel with it and uh go on from there so coming in at last place since i do have my list right here in front of me i have number eight being the thing that should not be no I remember, because it is a pretty recent song that I just heard from it, um, from the album, the thing that should not be, is you guys know that out of all the songs I kind of heard, it just it just didn't leave me having that kind of memorable feeling, and after, you know, re-listening to it, I did enjoy it more, it's because, you know, you have that first time reaction, you're kind of just like, well, you know, what am I going to, you know, get out of it a second time, and so coming back to it i did like it more but at the end of the day it's just the same things i was saying in that video is that it's repeating but it also just once the song starts be, between the like two to three different maybe small things it adds like it has like they always have good guitar solos and they have a really unique one in the in this song the thing that should not be but as much as i like the guitar solos it's just it doesn't add that special like flavor that some of them have and even though i'll come back to the song it really just doesn't give me any kind of like you know real reason besides this metallica and i enjoy most of their songs and let's put it back on it has a nice guitar solo and um i mean i like the way it builds up to the thing that should not be but i don't know at the end of the day it's just my least favorite one and even though it's my least favorite again I still really like the songs none of these i would give like any negative things about they're just if I gotta rank them least to best, that the thing that should not be is the last one for me, number eight. Coming in number seven is Damage Inc. Now after going back to this one, there's a lot of like just stuff about it. I have a lot of positive things to say. I'm very positive on this song. I'm positive on all of them. But Damage Inc. It's just I was <laughs> I was literally kind of just having a little bit of trouble trying to like figure out like it, it is kind of hard with like how good these songs are it's like how do you rank them and so with Damage Inc I went into it you know Damage Inc okay let me you know let's think about this as much as I like it more than the thing that sh the thing yeah the thing that should not be it's just again it's it's doing something different and I appreciate that but at the same time it's like you guys know how I feel about this album like there's like the four it's like half is so hardcore and then there's like that other half that just is like a bit more smooth sailing and I didn't you know rank this kind of along those lines like there's some you might like know or you might not know where my list is gonna be but at the end of the day the uh, damaging comes at number seven just because it it has that force it has that kind of driving force that like i really like about metallica and it has a bit more remember being remembered than the thing that should not be but i just it, again it's it's just kind of feeling like formulaic at times and i i'm totally fine with that and with this album you know i like a lot of their songs that i've heard from their other albums but this is the first album that i finished i just kind of feel some of the similar patterns being played here and I do like how he mentions Damage Inc. It's a very interesting concept of a song. I find it very intriguing. It's definitely different than a lot of songs I've heard, but at the end of the day, I gotta put it on top of number eight, but it's still a little bit on the bottom of the list if I had to rank it, because that's what I'm doing. Coming in at number six is Disposable Heroes. Now, this one, you, you, you might have thought it would have been the last one. It's not. 
it's it's number six because at least it's you know eight and a half minutes long you got so much going on like you're throwing like guitar solos there you got like hard guitars and drumming in this other section and it's like it's got an interesting downtime because it's like do 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 or like you know i, I suck at repeating song sounds but like yeah, there's a lot to like about it but again you know it's just so much happening all at once for me and after re-listening to it it's definitely like a good song like i never said it was a bad song it's just so much to handle so much is going into it i just like i like the song a lot but then at the end of the day it's like you gotta think about like like the bottom ones are just the ones like Oh, how much would I go back to this? Like, I would listen to it, obviously, again. I'm never gonna, like, not listen to these songs. But if I'm gonna pick out of these lists, which ones am I gonna go back to the most? You know, these types of ones just are gonna be more on the bottom than at the forefront. And that's not even a bad thing, because I still would want to listen to them. It's just, you gotta have your own personal taste. You gotta have your own, you know, feel feelings and vibes are just what you would want out of a song and disposable heroes you guys know how much i freaked out at the end of that song just so much just going on into it and so i take away a lot of just like that being an experience to take away it's a solid song so much going into it almost so brutal and just in your face that it's just like taking it all in just takes so much time and consumption but at the end of the day it's higher than eight and seven comes in at number six Coming in at number five is Master of Puppets. Now, this one has a special place in my heart because obviously it was the first one that kind of started this whole Metallica journey for me. And I really, I like the song a lot, man. Master of Puppets, like, monster, or monster, master of puppets, pulling your strings. Like, there's a lot of catchiness to it. There's a lot of, like, nice, like, it's formulaic rhythms. Because, you know, he does Master Puppets a lot, and it's another eight and a half minute, minute song. It's similar to Disposable Heroes, but at the same time, I can at least kind of gravitate towards that one more. Because, I mean, again, it does have a special place in my heart, but I'm trying not to be biased. But at the same time, it just, it does maybe what I like. Uh, it's what I would like Disposable Heroes to kind of be like. But at the same time, they're two songs with different types of you know feelings to him but they're both similar they're on the same album eight and a half minutes it's like master of puppets just does it better in my opinion and as much as i like disposable heroes okay you know so much brutal brutality and you know shoving down my mouth okay like disposable heroes stop saying i don't like it i like it just Master Puppet, it's just, you know, there's just so much to like about it, and I, I get why it's one of their most popular ones, and if, if I were to put it lower, I just, I couldn't help myself, because it at least deserves to be, like, in the middle ground, and it's it's a solid song, man, like, that one, like, you play it, you just, like, it's eight and a half minutes, it just goes, 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 and it's just, at least that, I think that one even does have some, like, actual downtime compared to Disposable Heroes, not, like, too much, obviously, but I really just dig Master Puppets, it's just, like, catchy, it has a type of formula to it but at the end of the day i would totally just want to have that on and play it and it's a solid just like all of these again solid metallica song that just shows how good they are coming in at number four is battery now battery this was a tough one because i like a lot of things about this song like you got roaring guitars again the drumming is unbeatable it's the first song from the album and it really kind of just throws you into it and i remember just doing it and being like bro like a battery like like a battery ram like let's just push this thing in but at least with this one you're, you're getting a bit more of at least for me you know because this is all my personal taste man like i'm, I'm not trying to offend anybody i'm just giving my own personal ranking because you guys watch my videos and i thought why not to give you an extra treat of me doing a uh, master puppets ranking and it's just battery has layers like <laughs> I'm not gonna do the Shrek analogy, but it just you, you gotta really like after because I only heard it that one time Like I really haven't gone back to listen to these particular songs um, Compared to like some of the other Metallica ones. So I had to literally kind of go back and like re-listen to these songs and You see again these things from a different light, but with battery it was just like I Liked it a lot the first time, but then you get that second taste of it and something about it just clicks with me even more like i totally i dug it the first time I, something about it just empowers me the second time even more like whether i feel like it's just you know a battery ram or it's like 
it's got a lot of fastness to it but at the same time i feel like it's not pushing it down my throat as much like master or uh, well, a bit like master puppets most like disposable heroes or like the thing that should not be or even okay the thing that should not be isn't too bad but you, you know what i'm talking about it's like basically disposable heroes battery it's going full throttle at times but at the same time i can really just take it down maybe it's the length of time as well like sometimes the length of times really kind of makes my judgment a bit different just because of how much i'm comparing these songs in the fast pace and it's like i'm a very analytical person if you guys haven't really t like could tell i kind of analyze a lot of things maybe a bit too deeply but at the same time i'm able to appreciate all of the songs and everything and even if it's on the bottom of the list still totally dig it i have yet to see a bad or hear a bad metallica song so battery comes in number four it's a very solid song man i I think it just gets better on re-listens and that's one of the biggest pros i take away from it and that's why it's four number three is orion we're in the top three man the top three orion was just a special treat like i have a lot to say about this and i won't go on too long but orion just threw my expectations out of the water and the only reason this one isn't like at least the top one is because there's no lyrics like and i'm not trying to like be again biased because oh it's because the song doesn't have lyrics it's not number one it's like well i i like lyrics and i feel like i, I kept kind of waiting at times is this song gonna have lyrics at the end i was like i after i kind of let it all just go through me i was like okay the song didn't have lyrics what can i take away from this and i took away a lot because the song was basically a perfect song i just wish i had lyrics because then maybe you could get like some extra layers to this amazing song and it's again eight minutes but compared to disposable heroes master puppets it's on top of those because as much as disposable heroes is really cool and you got a lot of just stuff going on like just all the time like non-stop and then you have master puppets where it's got some of that same quality non-stopness but then it has some time to kind of have some downtime here and there and it has like the master puppets and it's like you're doing a bunch of different things orion doesn't have the lyrics and again if we're just forgetting about that you have a really unique build up to that song like it has one of the most a lot of this album i have to mention a lot of these like songs have really the intros are very intriguing and once we get to the top two i'll talk a little bit more about that but you know with master puppets disposable heroes orion um damage inc and you know i mean all of them have their unique beginnings but there's just specific ones like those that i like really hone in on like those are really unique beginnings um but with orion it says like orion has one of the best openings like or at least most unique to me that just kind of stands out to me and it builds up and that first like the first two minutes you got you know it's 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 so good in those first two minutes and then by the fourth minute mark the song just ends basically it's like you get four minutes of one song and then they stop and then a whole new song starts and it's like you don't have any lyrics but they're two separate songs put into one basically like literally like that's like sometimes like master puppets disposable heroes you have eight and a half minutes it feels like the same song the thing that's so much cooler about orion is you got like two separate songs into one but they flow together because they're connecting and that kind of just makes it more stand out ish which is because again you're not repeating the same thing you're doing a bunch of different things and then the drumming at the end of orion like you have so much they just um really like and love about this band like regard of your preference at first when i first started doing or getting into metallica and all these other bands it was like yeah i like this i like this and then it just pushes you into love when you start to hear things like orion it's just so good <sighs> again gotta breathe but coming in at number two man we have welcome home sanitarium now this one i really it was so debating like orion welcome home sanitarium and i was like welcome home sanitarium has the lyrics and so making that my number two you know what my number one is but making that my number two i just i remember hearing that name i was just like that is so unique and interesting what a name to have just blowing my mind with the titles guys they have tons of cool titles it just it's like it's not like orion but i have that kind of feeling even though it's a bit of a shorter song i have that feeling of it's like got different rhythm patterns it's got different tone changes it's got a bunch of different things that they're trying to do and also i gotta mention just here throughout how nirvana took inspiration from this album 
that's just really cool that they were able to, you know, like I always just, I, I've never been like a diehard Nirvana fan, but, um, you know, I thought they had an interesting sound and I thought maybe they came up with it on their own. You know, you just think things, you get assumptions and the fact that they had taken inspiration from Metallica from this album itself, that's pretty unique and cool. And that I got to experience that and kind of see like a, uh, outsider's perspective and kind of do these deep dives where I can view that and be like, wow, this is where they kind of like people are getting their inspirations trinkled in from these little sounds here because they made what a little sound Metallica had in this album become like such a forefront in Nirvana. And it's just like, you just got to take one little thing, make it your own and you're golden. And so again, welcome home sanitarium number two track. You just you just get everything you want out of Metallica. You got great guitars, you got great drumming, you got great lyrics, and you got his voice again throughout this entire album. He has been going as hard as he can, but after Orion not having any lyrics, and then you hear Welcome to Sanitarium, it's just like it's like I've never heard like I mean obviously it's metal and it's new to me but like even then it's like the way he expresses the titles the title like just the main courses the title tracks it's so different and unique to me I just I've like when I'm honing in and deep diving this that's why I can appreciate so much more because I'm actually trying to like feel what this artist is doing and just actually seeing it come to fruition and hearing from point A to you know point B, C, D, whatever, the end of the song for Welcome Home Sanitarium, it just makes me want to play it so much more, definitely put it in the car non-stop, it's not too long, it's not too short, it's like in that middle ground where it's just like, yes, <laughs> or yes, sorry, I keep, I keep looking here, I gotta stop doing that, but Welcome Home Sanitarium comes at number two, you guys know what my number one is, if you don't know what my number one is, what are you doing, man, okay. <laughs> Number one, Leper Messiah, man. <sighs> What'd you expect? Leper Messiah is, without a doubt, the best song on this album. Now, that's for me. Have your own opinion. Okay, have your own opinion. I'm just me. You are you. The Naked to Express, a place to express yourself. If you didn't get the meaning, if you didn't look at my channel logo, my channel t or channel banner, that's the whole point, man. I'm just giving my opinions. You guys watch my videos. Here's an extra video for you. Leopard Messiah is my favorite one. It's favorite one out of this entire album. It's like, I came off of the thing that should not be and Leopard Messiah. So to me, it's very interesting how I put that one last and this one in the forefront because those were two of the most recent songs I had. And I re-listened to them a couple times, let them sink in a bit. You know, it's been over a day now. And so, you know, maybe it changed over time. Anything could change over time. But right now, I really stand by this this list. And you know, uh, Leper Messiah. I again, they had an interesting name, interesting title, and I was just like, "Where's this gonna go?" And it just went everywhere. Like the first three minutes of like, again, Metallica, you're doing some some great stuff here. Where are you going? And then once you get to four minutes, man, it just blows me out of the water with that guitar solo, the drumming, and the end. I have goosebumps just kind of thinking about it again, like I do with like a lot of these songs, and the fan is obviously a contributor to that. But man, Lever Messiah, like that one I could just overplay so many times. Like, I would love to play a lot of these songs a lot, but Leper Messiah is like the standout one to me. It feels like an ending, like it has such a good ending. It feels like such a good closer of a song, the way it just ends. It almost feels like it should be the end of the album for me. I know it's not, but I almost feel like it should be because it just earns that right. Like I, I'll make my own album list and just put it at the bottom, um, but as a good thing, not the bottom of this list, just the bottom of my own album version that I want to do, if that makes any sense. But Leopard Messiah, man, you guys know, you've heard it. My number one, it's fantastic, overplaying it, fantastic last two minutes, my favorite part of the entire song, fantastic ending, best kind of closer you could get, it's such a good song, it's undoubtedly a banger, just like basically all these songs are, man, in their own right, and I'm sorry if your favorite one was at the bottom of the list, but again, man, it's, it's hard because I'm just doing this video for, you know, fun, enjoyment, trying to keep the conversation going after I do an album, 
um, you know, guys, give me suggestions on maybe things I could do differently if you guys enjoy this video or not. You know, just let me know down in the comments because I'm still, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still getting new um, to the whole types of videos I want to make. And so your feedback definitely helps me. But regardless, I want to make similar videos to the stuff I've been doing. It doesn't always have to be reactions. So I really hope you guys did dig this video. Just getting my personal opinion, kind of giving you my own list. I don't want to take too long. So it's like as much as I want to go and talk about each specific detail of each song it's like i gotta get straight to the point of what makes each song kind of special to me and keep it going but lever massage comes at number one i think it's just one of the standouts i can't believe like master puppets is like known or like ranked higher it's again i talked about this before and i won't go on about it again but I just think Leopard Messiah beats Master Puppets and like they're at least on the same playing field. Like I just, the whole fact that Master Puppets is like well known more than that song in, in some regard, like to an, a broader audience is just wow. But that's my list guys, this is to Master Puppets, my ranking, 1 through 8. I hope you guys really enjoyed my video and I'm really planning on doing more of these if you guys will allow me to, to uh, other Metallica albums or to other artists albums that I finished. This is the first one I've done. Besides Pink Floyd, I think I am going to do a Pink Floyd one, but that one's got to take more time since it's been a bit since I listened to that album. But done rambling, guys. Really hope you enjoyed. And if you guys are new, please click that like button, subscribe, join in on the conversation, because as I like to say, this is a place to express yourself just like I am. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give me more suggestions, more things I could do differently, or just anything else I should be doing on this channel down in that description or down in that comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video